Pep, your reaction to tonight's performance and tonight's result? Well, obviously we're not happy with the result um, because we want to win every game. But I think today there's a lot of positives as well from this game. The fact that we can give an opportunity to young talent that we developed and, uh, and that we see some of them, they have a massive future. In the short time, some of them they have a, on, a, on a longer time frame, a good future. And, and that's a positive. I think, I think the fans who travel down here, uh, they understood. They understood it and they were with, with the lads in this very special day for them. And, um, and that's what makes me happy about it today. Then it's about, about swallowing this result in the end of the day, focusing on the positives. There's a lot of things that we've done well as well on the football. I think we managed to dominate. We struggled a little bit to, to, to connect better from Stocky up front, but I think second half we were a little bit better. And from the native side, I think we were a little bit soft on, on the goals. We could have done a little bit better on, on that department, but still that comes a lot with the experience as well. And, and it was a tough, a tough opposition as well. That things could happen. We, we talked about it, we worked on it, but obviously, in the end of the day, it's a football game and, and things happen. In spite of that, a lot of positives as well, and now it's about um, focusing and keep, keep working hard and, and, and get our mind into, into a, a very, very tough league game on Saturday at home. Players started very brightly, there was a lot of enthusiasm, especially from the younger guys, but the first goal from a corner that shouldn't have been given, really. Yeah, well, that's what happens. In the end of the day, the ref um, saw that, that was a corner, uh, and I think in there we could have been a little bit better on the marking. Uh, but it's, it's, one, it's one mistake that we paid. We paid with the goal, and that's unfortunate. But, uh, but it's, it's, it's a thing that obviously we work a lot on it, and, and, and we, we need to get the play better. On the other hand, I agree. I agree. It was a bright start. The team found themselves well in the pitch. Um, we. We transfer the ball around quick, we move to create problems, we dominated them um, and they were only really using breaks to, to try to catch us up. Isaac Vassell had to be withdrawn from what would have been the intended started lineup um, quite late on. Did that have an effect on, on the pattern of the game without that sort of natural striker up front to, to help the team? Obviously we had to work out then with Jude and with um, Dan Crowley to try to cover for the speed that Vaz has and the movement that he has in behind, that I think it will have been a really good game for Vassal. It will have been a very good game because it will have avoided the pressing, we will have had a, a threat in behind, a threat on goal. But I think that Dan and, and Jude, look at, look at this, how difficult it was to Jude, to not only make his debut, but as well to try to, to work with Dan, how to together um, work as a, as a striker. But I think, I think they did all right, you know, they did all right. I cannot, I cannot be hard on them because obviously uh, they did the best they could and I think uh, some, some patterns were good, some patterns were good for them. And just to clarify before we move on, Isaac Vissell, it looks like there, there could be some movement in regard to his future. Yes, uh, that's what it actually looks and, uh, and obviously uh, that's why it was a risk to, to include him. And now we need to, to look forward and to, and to see uh, what, how we're gonna, how we're gonna in these two days, how we're gonna sum up and how we're gonna end up uh, uh, working out with the, with, the, with the forwards department, really. And this was a night when history was created, Jude Bellingham becoming Birmingham City's youngest player, 16 years, 38 days. What were the reasons for, for giving him his debut, Pep, and also how did you think he fared out there? The reasons to give him the debut is because he has worked very, very hard to achieve a really good level. He's been uh, working the whole preseason with us, with the, with the pro team. He's been learning from the pros, and uh, and I felt that he was prepared for a kind of game like this one. Uh, it would be tough for him because he's Portsmouth away, but I think uh, I felt him mature enough to, to do it. And naturally, he put himself right, and, and I think he started very bright. Faded a little bit in the end, but that's normal for the physicality. But I have absolutely no regrets. I think he worked hard. Um, a little bit, some tweaks that we need to do with him. We changed a little bit some, some tactical positions, and obviously these are things that he will get used to it. Uh, but I'm happy for him and happy for the Blues family. Another thing that was important as well that I that I chose him today because uh, Craig was playing midfield. I know that he could help him a lot in that. And another academy product, Gerald Obradrami, was a, was another starter 
for you making his debut. How did you think Geraldo fared? I think uh, when we were playing with three, he was playing in the middle of three. He understood perfectly. Uh, he was physical as well. Um, he had a tough job because it was a very direct side. He has a tough job to do and I think, I think he did very well. Uh, for me, he played a very good first half and, and, and a, a good second half. Faded a little bit in the end, but obviously they all get tired and, and the level drops a little bit. Um, when we went to four at the back, uh, he felt a little bit more natural. The team felt a little bit more natural and, and that's good for me as well uh, to see to use these, these, these games as, as, as a test as well. But I think in general, Giraldo very positive, not only defensively, but as well offensively. Of the 18 this evening, 13 involved came through the academy. That's a big statement and something that's very important to the club, isn't it? I think it's very important for the club. It's very important for football as well. It's very important for football because we clubs have a responsibility to open, open opportunities for young players to develop especially if they're ready. And all the players that I've seen today in the pitch, they look ready. They look mature, they understood the game, they played, then they can have a better day or a, or a worse day. But they all felt mature. We all have this responsibility in football and, and I'm happy that the club understands it and, and keeps forward. In spite of that, not a happy night because I would have loved it to make the debut and win the game. But uh, I take this as a positive. We know that we have talent coming through and we need to keep working very hard on them to, to, to get them opportunities. Uh, maybe here or maybe um, uh, some loans or something, we know that they are ready. That's massive for the club, the fact that we produced all those players who, who featured tonight. And, and it, it's something that just keeps is a, a little bit of a reward for us as well in knowing that, that we're not only working for the short term, like in the league games, but as well we're working for the mid term and long term of the club and for the safety of the club. And just before kick-off, we were able to announce this, the signing of Alvaro Jimenez. What can you tell us about him and what do you think he can bring to the mix? Alvaro Jimenez is a player who plays up front, who had a prolific season this season in the second highest league in Spain. And uh, I think he can team up as well with Juki and, and, and some more offensive options if they come. And I think will will help, help us in that department. He's a, he's a player especially dangerous when, when near the box. And I just wish him to to a massive welcome from the Blues family and, and, and the best of luck, really. I understand he's a, he's a character that's never say dies while he works really hard for the cause as well as that penalty box predator. Yes, absolutely, and that's important for us. It's important because we have a, a team that not only uh, we try to play as good as possible, or as possibly can, or as, as good as the opposition let us play, but this is a, this is a club that and it's a team that, that we put a really hard work on the pitch and, and the player must have this, he must have it.